two essential goals that get results fast. How you will be impacted today. What we are going to be doing is we are going to be setting big goals for the future. Then we are going to be setting believable goals for now. We're going to be writing a 10 year goal achievement statement and a three month goal achievement achievement statement. And I'm also going to be drip feeding some affirmations as we go through the course, because this will help you to get you in the mood and program your subconscious mind for success. So here's your first one. It is good to have money because I use it for good things. I use money for the highest good of all. Mammoth and manageable goals. So the problem with goals is that most people do it wrong. Most people either set goals that are too big or goals that are too small. So for example, they might set a goal to be a millionaire straight away. And the problem with this goal is that your brain just simply doesn't believe it. So you're just constantly arguing with yourself and convincing yourself of all of the reasons why you can't have this goal. So immediately it's just too much that like nobody would expect just to jump to earning a million dollars straight away overnight. It doesn't usually happen like this. It's not to say that some people don't, some people win the lottery, but especially in businesses, which is what we're talking about, we usually have to jump up certain amounts of increments. It doesn't mean to say that it can't happen fast, like you could earn a million dollars within a year or two years. Lots of people do that kind of thing. But to say that you're going to earn a million dollars today is unrealistic because what would you be selling today that was going to be bringing a million dollars? So that's why your brain automatically thinks, well, that's not going to happen because I'm not even selling anything at the moment. So um, we have to bring it down to more manageable goals right now. So what we do is we set goals that are big for the future. And this can be 10 years or it can be one year, two year, whatever you want. But we are going to focus on 10 years because there's not as much resistance to 10 years. Like people think 10 years is so far in the future that I'll definitely be able to achieve that. Um, and we're also going to be setting goals that are manageable right now that you can actually believe right now because this helps to boost your confidence. So what I used to do was when I first started my business, I got into the habit for of setting goals that were only too big. So I didn't ever set manageable goals for myself. I read this statement every day and it was something crazy like, I'm going to earn $50 million within 10 years. And I just kept on repeating that over and over and over again. And it was very good for my um, self, a subconscious mind and my self-belief because I did actually end up believing that my business was going to go big and it really did. But the problem was that I didn't set any manageable goals that I could achieve right now. So what happened with my business is I read this statement for six months. I was very diligent. My mind was convinced that I was going to earn this money in 10 years because it was such a long time away. I thought, yes, it's in 10 years time. It's going to go big. So um, what happened was my business just exploded within six months and then very soon I was earning six figures. So it did happen very, very quickly. I had no previous business experience. I had I was earning no income whatsoever. I had no products, nothing, no help, no team, no support. I put no money into it. Um, I just had a baby. I had no time. Literally everything was stacked against me and it exploded, I believe, because I believed it was going to happen. So setting big goals really, really worked for me. But the problem was that I didn't set goals that I was achieving on a month by month basis. So what happened was after six months, I kind of changed my mind about what, how I wanted to take my business forward. And I stopped reading out my goals. And then my business just started to, after a couple of years, it started to go downhill because I wasn't being specific about my goals and I didn't know where my business was headed. So the big goals really worked for me, but I was missing the small goals as well. So if we look at studies, there is actually a lot of proof around goal setting these days. And studies do show that people who set bigger goals actually achieve more. So um, if you set only small goals, you'll only get small things. But if you also set 
big goals, you will also get big things in your business. So we are going to do both. We're going to have the best of both worlds. We are going to set big goals, which I call mammoth goals. So these are anything that's over one year old. So one year, three year, five year, 10 year, and we're going to focus on 10 years. And then we're also going to be setting small goals, which I call manageable goals. And these are anything under three months. So it's like one month goals, two month goals, and three month goals. Anything that you can imagine, you can manage right here, right now, with what you've got right now. We need to start with what you've got. So this is what we're going to manage right now. I deserve to have more than enough money. I attract large amounts of money to me. So the benefits of setting big goals. Now, lots of people want to become millionaires. Lots of people set a goal to earn a million dollars with their business. And lots of people think that's the holy grail and a million dollars is so much money. But actually, it's not that much money if you think about what you can buy with it. So you might be thinking, well, it's so much more money than what I've got. But if you think about your ideal life, it might include buying a home. Homes can be very expensive. Of course, it depends where you live in the world. Some places are much cheaper and you can buy much more for your money. But generally speaking, a million dollars won't actually buy you that much. When you think about, I'm going to buy a home, I'm going to invest some money so it can um, keep generating money for me. I'm going to maybe save up for my kids' education. I'm going to invest in my business. It really doesn't actually go that far. And if you're thinking about 10-year goals, um, with inflation and the way money's worth in the future, a million dollars will only actually be worth the equivalent of $750 in 10 years. So it won't buy you that much money. So if you're setting a goal for a million dollars in the future, it's not actually going to buy you that much money. So I'm saying this so that you can reframe how you think about a million dollars. You might think, oh, it's a massive amount of money and, oh, I'll never achieve that. It's far too much. But really, it's not actually that much money. It doesn't stretch as far as you would think. And that's probably why people who win the lottery end up blowing it all so fast because it's actually really easy to spend a million dollars on just kind of basics for everyday life, like buying a home. So your subconscious mind needs to think big to go big. So in your business, if you keep on thinking small all the time, you'll only get small results. But your subconscious mind, whatever you program your subconscious mind with, it will produce the results for you. It will say, this is the level of success that we're expecting. So you have to program it to get big results. And I understand that when you're first starting out in business, say you're not earning any money, or you're not earning as much money as you like, you will have to build up your confidence gradually. So that is the benefit of having a manageable goal to start with. So with every small goal, with every manageable goal that you achieve, you'll build your goal achievement muscle and you'll get more and more confident and you'll be able to set bigger and bigger goals. I am wealthy. I attract wealth to me from all directions. There are so many rags to riches stories out there. There are so many people who have gone from literally nothing to being millionaires or billionaires. And we only have to look around us to see that it is definitely possible. And if one person can achieve these kind of results, then it is possible for somebody else to do it because all they need to do is copy the mindset of the person, copy the behavior of the person and step into that person that earns that kind of money. So just to give you some motivation, let's look at a few different people who literally jumped from nothing to millions and billions. So before uh, JK Rowling wrote Harry Potter, she was a single mother with depression who was struggling to pay her rent. Now her net worth stands at $92 million. Wow. Let's look at Oprah, Winf Oprah Winfrey. She grew up poor and she could only attend college because she got a scholarship to attend. And now she is worth $2.6 billion. Let's look at Starbucks CEO, Howard Skultz. He grew up so poor that his family often struggled for food. 
And then he also won a scholarship to college and then he became the CEO of Starbucks and his net worth is worth $3 billion. So it is good to celebrate people who have earned a lot of money and be grateful for their success because it means it's possible for you. So never feel jealous of other people. Never think they did it. They're a special unicorn. That means I can't do it. Always bless other people and those blessings will be returned to you. So let's do that now. I bless all rich people. I celebrate their wealth and abundance and I'm so happy for them. So now let's move on to practicalities, how to set a mammoth goal. So what you're going to do first is you are going to decide on a mammoth goal that you will achieve within 10 years. So this could be a million dollars or it could be more or it could be less. It's totally up to you. Whatever you think is completely out there, a crazy goal, an impossible goal, that is your mammoth goal. Now what you're going to do is you are going to write down and decide what you will spend this money on. So how are you going to allocate it? So remember, this is money that's coming into your company. So a million dollars. So you will have to um, pay money into your expenses for running your business. So do you have a team? How much do you pay your staff? Are you going to invest any money back into the company? What kind of systems do you have in place in your company? I guess you'll, you'll have to pay tax out of your profit. So how much profit are you going to make out of that million dollars and then therefore how much tax will you have to pay and then how much are you going to pay yourself and from that money how much will if anything are you going to give to charity will you save any money for your kids education will you go on vacation will you buy your dream house so how much money will you get yourself and what will you spend it on and when you actually do this exercise it's very interesting because you realize that a million dollars coming into your business doesn't actually equal all that much money back into your own pocket because once you've spent money on your own business and growing your business so you can generate more money and then you've paid your tax, what you can actually take out yourself is a fraction of that million dollars. So you won't become a millionaire just because you've got a million dollars into your business. You might not even have the amount of money that you need to buy your dream house depending on where you live and how much your dream house is. So that's why it's important to set a mammoth goal that actually fulfills your dreams. Do you want to buy a five million dollar dream house next to the beach? If that's the case then you might need to make 10 million dollars in within revenue in your business so work it backwards like that and figure out how much money do you want to have in your business and how much money does that mean you're going to be able to take out and pay yourself personally so after we've done this then what we're going to do is we're going to put your stamp on the world by writing a stamp statement now, if you have read my book, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about when I say a stamp statement. If you haven't read my book, I encourage you to go and read my book because this is a core lesson, but it doesn't matter if you haven't read my book because I'm going to show you everything you need to know for this course here. So a stamp statement is a statement that you read to yourself every day and it really drills in your goals so you end up believing them and you end up believing the reason for having them and who you need to become to have that money. So when we're writing our 10 year stamp statement this is going to be a shorter statement but when we're writing our manageable goal stamp statement it will actually be longer and we'll have more detail in it because we're living it right here and now. So a stamp statement for our mammoth goal includes the following. It needs to include some kind of gratitude. So it includes some, a statement that starts off with, I am so grateful that I earned X amount of money. So we always need to put um, gratitude into our statement so that we experience gratitude and that we can attract more to be grateful for. It gets us into the right vibration for achieving, for receiving money. Then we want to put the amount of money that we want to receive. We need to put in the statement what we will spend the money on and don't worry i'm going to give you an example in a minute we need to put in a statement how that is going to make you feel when you earn that amount of money and then at the end we always end our stamp statements with a statement of trust which goes like this i reject all disbelief 
I always trust that everything is working out for my highest good and the good of all, and I choose to receive this or something better. And so it is. So here is an example of a stamp statement for a 10 year goal. I am so grateful that I have made a revenue of X amount of money by a certain date. This has enabled me to buy things, experiences, resources, investment, charity, which makes me feel positive emotions every day. I reject all disbelief. I always trust that everything is working out for my highest good and the good of all, and I choose to receive this or something better. And so it is. So here is an, is an example where I've filled in the blanks, or I've filled in the bold statements. So you need to change the bold statements to whatever you want. So set the right date for you, the right money for you, the right reasons for you, and so on. I am so grateful that I have made a revenue of at least a million dollars by the 2nd of June, 2032. This has enabled me to hire a team of people to help spread my business message to millions, give a lot of money to homeless charities, put money away for my kids' education, add an extension to our house, go on a cruise every year as a family, which makes me feel abundant every day. I reject all disbelief. I always trust that everything is working out for my highest good and the good of all, and I choose to receive this or something better. And so it is. So now we've set our mammoth goals, let's move on to setting our manageable goals. So this is how to set a manageable goal. First of all, you decide on a manageable goal that you will achieve within three months. So manageable means that you can manage it right now. So with your resources, with what you have right now, with your current products that you have for sale, how much money do you think is manageable for you to make in the next three months? Say, for example, you don't have any products created whatsoever. Maybe you want to offer a coaching package or a service that won't take you long to create, or maybe you want to create a mini course, or maybe you want to create a, a training, like a workshop, or something that you even create alongside your customers that your customers help you cr to create. So what could you create within three months and how much do you think you could charge for that? How many do you think you could sell? And how much money do you think you could make within three months? So once you've written down how much money you think you'll be able to make within three months, so you can do this and um, you can actually set the target for how much money you want to make in total for those three months or you could say how much money I want to make in the third month. So maybe you won't actually make any money in month one and month two because you might be creating a product or you might not have any time to actually sell anything, you might not have anything to sell. And then it might be in month three that you actually make the first money. So it's up to you whether you want to set a total amount of money that you're going to earn within the next three months or whether you want to just say, I'm going to earn this amount of money in month three. So once you've written down how much money you want to make, you need to decide what you will spend this money on. So will you put some money back into growing the company, giving to charity, buying some new shoes, just some things that you want right now that are on your mind right now, your current desires. Then we are going to put your stamp on the world by writing a stamp statement that includes the following. And we are going to put more detail into this stamp statement because it is um, what we're working on right now. So we're going to put gratitude in there. I am so grateful that we're going to put the amount that you want to make. We're going to put what you're going to spend the money on. We're going to put how that will make you feel. We're also going to put what you will sell in the next three months. Now, what you need to do with this is um, you can say what you want to sell in the next three months. You can even set an intention for how many of those offers you want to sell in the next three months. But what I wouldn't do is I wouldn't link, I wouldn't link making your certain amount of money in the next three months to only selling that particular product because that limits yourself in terms of other things that might come up in the next three months that, that could make you the money that you need. Somebody might approach you and say, I've got this bespoke thing that I want to work with you on. Could you work with me? Here's 
the money and you might make all of that money from one person and you might not have ever imagined that the money was going to come from that source. So don't ever limit yourself and say the money's only going to come from one particular place. We're also going to put in this statement how you will develop yourself as a person. So this is really important because if you feel like you're not the kind of person to make this kind of money, then that's what we need to change by putting affirmations in our stamp statement that help us to change our thinking as to how we see ourselves and that we see ourselves as somebody who is successful and somebody who does earn this kind of money. Then we end it with the same statement of trust again. So here is an example of a stamp statement related to the manageable goal. I am so grateful that I have made a revenue of at least this amount of money by this date with at least this percentage of it being profit. So it's good to also put your profit in because if you don't have any profit, then you can't, you don't have any flexibility for assigning different money to different um, purposes at the end of the month. So this has enabled me to buy things, experiences, resources, investment, charity, which makes me feel positive emotions every day. I am so happy to have created purposeful, my purposeful offer for these type of people. I have helped these type of people to improve their area of struggle, which has improved their area of life. I am so excited to sell this number of my purposeful offer to the perfect customers this month. I am inspired to take the right action and share the right message and offers with the right people at the right time. Then we'll add in affirmations related to your growing goals, so growing yourself as a person, such as, I welcome multiple streams of expected and unexpected income into my business this month. I am so excited about my business and I am full of energy for living my purpose. I am worthy of receiving high compensation for my work as it transforms lives. This growth improves my life by benefits of growing. I reject all disbelief. I always trust that everything is working out for my highest good and the good of all and I choose to receive this or something better and so it is. Frequently asked questions. So how often should you change your goals? Now this is completely up to you but what personally happens for me is when I start a new business and I've started lots of them so when I start a new business I often change my goals very very fre frequently at the start because I get all these new ideas and I think no I'll do this no I'll do that and I keep changing my mind and that's completely fine it's all part of the brainstorming process so sometimes I change my goals every single day until I finally lock them in and I think no this this is the one this is the goal I want to stick with so at, at the start if you're new to your business or you've got a brand new idea and you're playing with it it's fine to change your goal every day until you get certain that this is definitely what you want and then what I would do is I would change your uh, mammoth goals I would change that at least once every year if not um, sooner I would also change your manageable goals at least every month or um, at least once every three months because it's a three month goal so by the end of the three month you'll be ready to set a new goal so you can also um, create a statement which is just for one month and you can change that every month or you can create a statement for every three months it's totally up to you so how often should you read your stamp statement now what I like to do is I like to read my manageable stamp statement in the morning and I like to read my mammoth stamp statement before I go to bed at night and sometimes I do visualizations on my statement throughout the day or at the in the start of the day at, at the end of the day so at least twice a day but the more often you read it the more it will program it into your mind so at least twice a day so what about the other time periods like one year three year five year so yes, you can also create stamp statements for these and I talk about this more in my book, Stamp Goals, but yes, you can also create um, your stamp statements for other periods as well, which really helps you to form a kind of business plan. So what you're going to be doing at which stage of your business. I provide so much value to others. People love to pay me and receive this value. 
So here are your action steps. Number one, set your mammoth goal. Number two, set your manageable goal. Number three, write your 10 year stamp statement. Number four, write your three month stamp statement. I deserve to be abundant. Being abundant is part of who I am. I am abundant. So give yourself a deadline of one day to complete this work and then we will move on to the next lesson.